Nick and Robin Van Frankenhausen, along with their children Heather and Kelly, share a life devoted to nature and art. Life on the Van Frankenhausen farm is abuzz with many critters, both wild and domestic. Nick and Robin share a deep mutual love of animals and because of it are often called on to nurse a wounded animal back to health. They have all the required state and federal permits which allow them to care for a wide variety of wildlife. Nick and Robin are often highlighted for their innate abilities to sense the needs of a hurting or orphaned creature. Their unlimited patience is credited in the countless successes of returning animals back to the wild. As each season gives way to the next and animals come and animals go, the tapestry of life on the Van Frankenhausen farm will surely produce new adventures in nurturing fallen and abandoned wildlife. Jackson is one of the creatures they've helped over the years. Jackson was unique from the very beginning. Great horned owls are extremely aggressive by nature, yet Jackson seemed content with his human family from day one. When it was time to release Jackson, he flew off confidently into the night without even a single glance back. But several days later, as Nick was taking an evening walk, Jackson flew overhead. Apparently, he had decided to adopt the Van Frankenhausen family as his own. Jackson took up residence on the farm and lived a full and entertaining life for all. You've probably seen the book, Adopted by an Owl. Now enjoy Jackson through the eyes of the Van Frankenhausen family video camera. You got Come on. Come on in. You gonna give it to me? Thank you. Ooh. Good one. Bye. See you later. Hey, big guy. What you got? A rabbit hat. you eat it? Come in. There we go. Come on. Come on. It's okay. What do you got this time? Grab it. Jackson's whole life revolved around the Van Frankenhausen farm and the many animals and residents there, as well as Nick, Robin, Heather, and Kelly. This is the environment that Jackson, the great horned owl, chose to live out his days.